Welcome back to Godbreaker. We have just, after a very long and arduous wade through a swamp, we found the tomb of Sir Elwyn, we got his sword, Godbreaker. Uh, we did an awful lot of other stuff in the swamp. We got stung by uh, insects, we got bitten by snakes, we uh, committed genocide on a uh, nest of moths and, and bugs, and another on a dwelling of crays, and uh, eventually got back to our boat with the sword that we came for. So, let's continue. It's been a few weeks since I left the marsh with the sword. The flames that once surged through the blade have now dimmed, apparently quenched with the departure of Elden's spirit. All for the best, else I'd have been tempted to keep the thing. I'd been laying low in nearby Syrac to the west, where I'd let word of my new find slip a few attentive ears, and it wasn't long before I began to get inquiries. None from Sirak, to my surprise, but several from Blackbrook, one from Bowen, and one from the city. Blackbrook was suicide, obviously. The Denison family is well entrenched there, and certainly looking for blood. The offer from the city came from a certain brother Merrick a hammerite scholar and librarian at St. Uriel's Cathedral. I snooped around the Sirak Hammerite Library and found correspondence from him. He appears to be legit. I would rather not sneak back into the city, but the offer makes the Bowen offer pale in comparison. 30,000 in small diamonds, which are easy to move and always in high demand amongst the wealthy. Too good to pass up. While I was going through Merrick's letters, I caught wind of a valuable Hamrite artifact that's currently on tour. A golden statuette of St. Ives. It's about a four-day journey to ship back to the city, and the statuette is scheduled to be on display in St. Uriel's while I'm there. It'd be a shame not to drop in and pay my respects to such a highly revered saint. I know Denison is still looking for me, so I can't afford to let my guard down. It'll have to be a quick sail, followed by an even quicker grab at the cathedral. Then it's back to Dayport for the next ship out of town. Bowen seems like a good destination. It's the furthest of the wealthy cities from Denison and his thugs. Ah! There he is! Stop right there! Hurry! For your heart! Alright, the Trickster's Tale. Rewarded at last. Meet Brother Merrick at the Trickster's Tale pub and sell him Godbreaker. While you're in town, break into St. Uriel's Cathedral and steal a statue of St. Ives. You might as well grab some travel money. Steal at least 2,000 in loot. Denison is looking for you. Keep your head down and find a way out of the city once the deal is done. Start ah, well met, my esteemed comrade. Barman, we have a thirst. A drink for my friend and I. I am Brother Merrick, scholar of Hammerite history at St. Uriel's Cathedral. The legend of the Knights of the Shining Sun is of great interest to me. Once I heard that Godbreaker, the great sword of Sir Eldin, had been recovered, I simply couldn't resist the opportunity to once again reclaim the artifact for our order. So, friend, I don't mean to be rude, but I've studied the legend for a long time and am quite eager to, well, 
Forgive my haste, but is it here? Yes, I've got it here. Ah, that is most excellent indeed. Ah, our mead is here. Thank you, good sir. An extra coin for your good service. I feel a toast is in order. <clears throat> to new lucrative friendships. Uh, no, no. Uh, to my new friend, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Fine. Oh, good heavens, of course you'd want to remain anonymous. No fear, I understand completely. Uh, in that case, to, uh, to long lost artifacts everywhere, just waiting to be found. I'll drink to that. I guess I'm, I guess I will. <sighs> ah, very good. Yes, very good indeed. Are you poisoned so, me? mister, might I, well, uh, might I see what I am buying? Naturally. Here's the sword. Behold, it is surely a piece of the night sky, for it is black like sackcloth, yet shimmers like the starry mantle. Builder, preserve me. Yes, yes. It's quite something. Now, about my price. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Here is what we agreed upon. Oh. Well, it was good doing business with you. I guess I'll... Oh. <coughs> what? Oh. My head. Oh. I'm quite all right, good sir. Perhaps you need another drink? Barman, another round for Connell and I. Uh, how? I never told you my name. Oh, how curious. I... No, wait. The Maybe mead. you should have a lie down, friend. You... You bastard! Uh, I fell for the oldest trick in the book. Ah, poor sod. Nice work, Merrick. Distasteful and regrettable, but at least I've recovered the sword. Just imagine how the Cardinal will reward me. Now, gentlemen, as was agreed, I take my sword and the diamonds. You take this chap. You can take the sword, but leave the stones. I must protest, good sir. This is not what we are... <laughs> f forgive me. I did not realize that your arguments were so sharp and pointed. Bah! Get on with it, then. Ah, yes. I'll just take the sword, then. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm doing business with you. You grab his legs. Let's get him back to Denison's. Well, I guess uh, that didn't go quite as planned. Suddenly met with Brother Merrick, but uh, I'm not even sure we technically sold him the sword since we didn't get to keep the payment. So we got poisoned, we got sold out to Denison's folks, and uh, we lost our sword and the diamond, and we're going to need some serious revenge. Well, that was a pretty quick mission, 4 minutes and 5 seconds. Let's see what the next one brings. The final thread. What happened? Where the hell are you? Or where the hell am I? There's some spooky eyes in that uh, image as well. And apparently, uh, quite a slow load. Here we go. Wake up. Hey, come on, wake up. Can you see? Stand up. There you go. Ugh. Where am I? Listen, we haven't much time. It's incredibly important that you understand me. You've been poisoned with hemlock. <coughs> it's a deadly plant that paralyzes and slowly kills. <coughs> I feel like... I feel like... 
my insides. They're rotting. I know, I know. Listen, I've given you something to stop the paralysis, but you're still being eaten away from the inside slowly. Without the antidote, you'll be dead in a few hours. Oh. Oh. I have the antidote. I'll give it to you. Oh. Oh. Here, take this. You're still dying, but it's not the pain. As I said, I have the antidote, and I will give it to you. But I need your help first. Why would you have the antidote? Because I'm supposed to give it to you. Denison wants you alive, so that he can finish the job himself. I think he had chains in mind, though. Here. What? What is this? I told you I need your help. You're free to go, but you're not going to get far without the antidote. Why are you... Shut up and listen a second. A few nights ago, I became betrothed to Lucinda, one of the household staff. I had brought her a necklace that had been passed down in my family to surprise her with, but found it missing from my chest. Next day, I saw Lady Denison wearing it. I need you to get it back. But how do I know... <laughs> The necklace is probably upstairs in the lady's quarters somewhere. I was able to slip some sleeping potion into one guard's mead, so he's down for the count. But that's all I could do for you. You'll have to avoid the others. Don't try any funny business. The antidote isn't on me. I've hidden it in a safe location that you can't get to without my help. You get me that necklace, and you'll have your health. And freedom. I'll get you your necklace, but if you cross me, I swear I'll strangle the life out of you with my dying breath. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, one more thing. If you raise a ruckus, I'll have to kill you, or else it'll be me in those chains. You understand, I'm sure. Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> All right, once you're going to be poisoned, I don't think this time we're going to be able to go back in time to stop it. Speaking of going back in time, I should make a save so that I can get back in time when needed. All right, what about what are our objectives here? Find a way to escape from Denison's mansion. Find and return this guard's necklace so you can get the antidote to the poison in your system. Like, surely there's a way I can find the antidote without him. You know. Oh, I can return the necklace and then get my revenge on the guard for... Well, he's clearly complicit in all this. I don't have a map. Alright, I hope also that I don't have a... Uh, ooh, torture instruments. Can't take the hot poker, can I? Yep. I hope I don't also have a uh, time limit, like in uh, Keeper of the Properties. Oh, I don't have lockpicks. Not surprising, I don't seem to have any equipment except my trusty compass. There's a guard right there. Dear mother, thanks for the bread. Yours is always much better than the stuff we get here. Working for Lord Denison really isn't as bad as they say. Yes, he's got a temper, but as long as we come when we're cold and don't get up to mischief, he totally ignores us. Plus, he pays well. He's out tonight on business and won't be back till morning, which means I'll get some extra sleep. I hope to see you in a few months when I take a holiday. Love, Gilda. 
Wasting too much time looking for uh, loot right now. Okay, I actually intend to step on the table. I'm not going to get out there, so I need to get up to proper upstairs out of there. Yeah! Well, that's, uh, <coughs> that's going to make things fun. Is there a guard walking by there or what? Plums. I think you're going for a little longer. <coughs> also, I should have more hit points than normal on our difficulty. I don't know. Uh, but let's go for this guard. Looks of that. No, I don't like the looks of it either. Guess it's nothing now. Ah, uh, can't see it. Thank you. Ah, are you standing up the top of the stairs the whole time? No, oh, good. They make a move. Just in time to see the other guys coming back too. Doesn't seem like the way of the necklace. Is there a bedroom up there? I don't know, but he's now watching watching the passage. I can't go until he decides to go. He says should be safe here. Excellent timing. Is this the room with the necklace? I could read the book, but uh, I don't think I have time. Let's see. That's a fancy necklace. All right. So where? Uh, Finally, return the guard's necklace. Where is the guard? Did he tell me where he was going to be? I don't know. Let's read the book while we're here. Well, Roland doesn't seem to be interested. Not even when I've worn my lowest cut dresses around the house. Not even a glance. I've noticed he spends a great deal of time chatting up Lucinda, and the two have been known to tarry in the garden together most evenings. A pity, he's the best looking guard we've got. I guess I'll keep letting William warm my bed. He's not the prettiest, but at least he's young and full of energy, and interested in women. The poor fool brought me some garish necklace the other night. I was a good sport and wore it once. Hopefully he didn't spend all his coin on it. I'll play with him a while longer and see about hiring some new help. Denison won't mind. He's too busy wringing his hands over some common thief. Uh, wait. Was Roland the guard I was dealing with or was it William? Is this, do I even have the right necklace? I have a fancy necklace, but, uh, is it the, is it the necklace I need? Wait, there's another door. Oh, it's just a bathroom. Back to it, I guess. So, if you wouldn't mind going about your business. Probably just the sir checking up on things. That was definitely the sir. But not the sir you're thinking of. It's not the sir, it's the Who's sir. There? There's nobody here. I'm just dying. <coughs> right, where's my other piece of fruit? Can I get past him?
Why am I continuing to steal loot? Because I don't know if I've got the right necklace. I'm um, wondering if this might be yeah. <laughs> One of those missions with uh, a fake out kind of objective, but it doesn't seem so. The locked door. Hmm. I'm gonna get past him now. Alright, he does stay that way. Well, there's nothing. Just rats again. There's always nothing. It's never anything, and it always fades out and kills me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, looks like nothing. Follow this guard down the carpet of passage? I don't know. Well, maybe, but I don't know when he's going to come back, and there's not a lot of places to hide down there. I think I am probably better off waiting right here. Well, we'll see. He does stand there a long time. Ah, the light's fading from my eyes again. Just what I need. I hope they don't hear me coughing. Oh, what's this? Guts splashing all over the floor. Guts! <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, well. Need to go all the way around. All right, so back downstairs. Relative safety now. Although, who's that I hear? Is this the guy I need to give it to, or is he, or is he back here somewhere? He's here, so I'm guessing he's it is this guard. I can't see anymore. Oh, was that a light switch? Did I turn it on or off? <coughs> I don't know and I can't tell. Well let's assume it is this fella. It is your oh, that's it. Oh, excellent, excellent. Alright, this way. This better not be another trick. Yes, Lucy. Just give me a moment. Thank you. You've done well. As agreed, here's the rest of the antidote. Also, here's your gear so you can leave the manor. This waterway runs to the spillway out of town. I've bribed a sewage worker to leave the cistern grate unlocked. So feel free to use the other <coughs> boat here. I may just take you up on that, but I've got to type a few loose ends first. Understood. Should we meet again on happier terms, I owe you a drink or three. <laughs> Farewell. There better not be drinks with hemlock in them. Alright, new objectives. Uh, it's time to take back your retirement. Recover Godbreaker. Dennis and Merrick must pay for what they've done. Find a way to deal with them once and for all. Gather 4,000 loot before leaving town. And when you're done, return to Dennison's basement and take the extra boat into the sewers to escape. Well, let's drink the antidote before we do anything else. Because uh, I do not want to keep dying here. Not particularly. Alright, you two. Really, I should knock you out for this, but you did. You did stick by your promise, even if you had to ex... You know. 
fine, whatever. Oh, sewer key. I'll keep that. Right, so now we are. Back in the mansion. We have candles and electric lights. This place is fancy. I'm looking at that wall thinking there's a secret door there, but it doesn't actually look like it. It's just this fellow sleeping with no loot. Alright. Do you have any loot? Well, I read your letter already. Let's put out your candles. I they're uh, the next worst thing compared to the banners. The crate I can't prob. Right, there's nothing in here, right? I looked at everything in here. I don't have a time limit, so I can quickly check again. Certainly less hassle there being poisoned than uh, I feared, which is, uh, which is good. And lasted a lot less time than Keeper of the Properties, where it was, what, two, three whole missions? Well, you're suffering from poison. <coughs> Sleep. I'm gonna... After having been forced there to sneak past all these guards, I'm not gonna sneak much more. I will knock people out to make my job easier of getting back at these fellas. Someone say something. Someone said sleep. In the dining room. Traditional place to sleep. Right, so now I should be able to unlock things. Oh, that reminds me, there was that locked uh, toolbox down in the basement. I better go check that. Alright, well, I have a. The way out that way if I need it. And he stole some candles there. Go back to the toolbox. Yes? Ah, uh, whoops. Is it? Hello? I didn't mean to wake them up. Here we are. Oh, well, the servants will go back to sleep. They'll be, they'll be fine. Flash bomb. Ah, yeah, great. Patrolling. Or searching. I don't have any healing potions. Ah, oh, really? Go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, great, there's a guard coming too. Inside the evidence. Note to self. Just because you can see and you aren't being poisoned anymore, I don't go uh, clattering downstairs all the time. Fight me, you coward! If I must. Guess it was nothing. Well, I fought you. You didn't put up much of a fight, mate. So who's the coward now? Right. Oh, well, when they find you sleeping in the basement with uh, whatever her name is there, they're gonna not suspect me, right? Just because I happen to escape from the chains I was locked up in. Note for oh, note for any future people who wish to who wish me ill or dead. Uh, don't leave me locked up in chains in the basement. Deal with me yourself sooner. It usually works out better for you that way, although not for me. So I don't know why I'm giving you this advice. All right, so this door was all. No, that door goes outside. You see, that door's also locked. No, it's a different door that's locked. This one's locked. I have to do something about it. I hope I can find a healing potion or two in this mansion, because I'm a lot lower on health than I like. It's also outdoors. I haven't been 
taking this way at all, have I? He went straight upstairs. Hmm. Yeah, we got tile floors everywhere. Yeah, there's a tapper about you. You're not wrong. Healing potion! <laughs> Thank goodness. I mean, I, I mean, I have trouble knocking him out, aren't I? Just guess he's on a double decker bed, and if I swing my blackjack, it's gonna hit the top of the bed, right? Probably. Any really loot around this fireplace, do you? Definitely likes the word tapper there. Alright, where is this guy that wanders upstairs? Here he comes. Guess I'm gonna have to wait for him to come and go. Or is he not coming? More footsteps. Hmm. Okay. Oh. There's someone walk up and down this hallway. Oh, is that the guy who heard me and came to the basement? I guess that's possible. This guy is not a noisy or is he? Hopefully. What's that I see? This is your own sleepiness that you see. You fell asleep on the sofa there. Right, let's double check that I didn't miss anything here. Seeing as I have a little more time on my hands now. Did read the book, right? Yes, I did. Is there anything hiding behind this painting with its swimming? Yeah, I don't. I don't ever understood why. Yeah, thief sometimes makes textures swim like that on on models. It's a very odd rendering bug. I didn't actually check the bathroom, did I? Because it was noisy. What valuables are you hiding in the bath? None. Did you drop a anything down the drain hole? I mean, you actually have a model drain hole there. Nope, you left a ring by the sink. I'll take that. And I'll save you on your electricity bill and turn the lights out after me. I'm just that nice a thief. this door. That's must be done in the own bedroom. Lying around for a sack of money. I don't expect it to be there when you come back. Not when you've left a thief in the house. Uh, yeah, let's read it. Incriminating letter. 
Merrick, the package arrived successfully. You have no idea how long I've been trying to get my hands on him. As I write this, he is secured safely in my basement, just waiting for an artist such as myself to appreciate him. Many thanks for coming through and enjoy your payment, Lord Denison. P.S. Worry not about your good standing within the Order. My estate will be tithing regularly now, so you've done more good than harm. <laughs> Uh, shoot it like fag. I couldn't have written it better myself. I should leave this on the High Priest desk at St. Uriel's. It was very impious of you, Lord Denison, to conspire with our good brother Merrick to steal the beloved statue of St. Ives. Now I know just where I'll stash it. <laughs> well, if the voice, if my uh, inner monologue wasn't quite so loud... Uh, ouch. Dennis and Merrick must pay for what they've done. Find a way to deal with them once and for all. Right. This letter incriminating Dennison and Merrick needs to find its way to the desk of the High Priest. Steal a statue of St. Ives from the Hammerite Chapel and, instead of keeping it for myself, stash it somewhere in Dennison's basement to frame him. Don't be detected by any of Dennison's men besides Roland or by any Hammerites at St. Uriel's or your plan will fail. Oh, dear. Dear, 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 dear. Things I don't like in these missions. Time limits, which this mission already had, although it was pretty gentle with it, so it's not too bad. And, uh, enforced don't be seen objectives that mean you fail instantly. What's uh, uh, Yes, I know, I'm supposed to be Master Thief, but you know, that's, that's more in my head than, uh, more in my head than uh, <clears throat> an actual fact. However, I've not been seen by any of Denison's men yet, so I guess I haven't completely failed that objective yet. Alright, so I can go out the window, or I can go out the door, or I can go out the other door. This door, if I remember correctly, led into darkness. Let me just drop a hard save here, since we are leaving the mansion. <coughs> Led into darkness, he says, as a... <coughs> right. You, sir. Ooh, that's a... All the way down there. Wandering around with your lantern is not very... well liked. Oh, that's a... gardening area, is it? Strange maze of streets you got here. Right, where did that other door lead then? Onto the terrace. Who made that noise? Oh, I didn't mean to. One piece. Yeah, it is quiet enough now. Oh, more fruit. I'll pick that. These didn't look like plumsy bushes to me, but. Uh, now I know better. And where was the window I could open? Yeah, that was here. Uh, do, I, do I still not have a map? I still don't have a map, so I don't know where this cathedral is that I'm trying to get to. Oh, there's a moss I'll take that. Hmm. Theory, I could get down this way in practice. Jump onto that gargoyle, jump onto that gargoyle, climb on the roof. I do have rope arrows now. I didn't see any wood. Hmm. Let's, let's give it a go. <coughs> yeah, that's not a good start. Getting stuck on bouncing off these damn. Yeah. Shutters here. They can't close. Alright, let's not go this way if it just means falling and hurting myself because that's not so fun. I could close the shutters, I'd have a little more options. If I could stick a rope, I'd have a little more options, but uh, I'll come back that way. I'm sure I'll get there eventually. I was desperate to escape the manor, 
That would be one way to go, but I'm not that desperate. I'll go back out to the street. I'll try to avoid clattering like an elephant. And waking this fine fellow up. Where is he anyway? In that house? It's not part of the same manor, is it? It's like the same mansion that's adjoining. No, it doesn't connect. It must be an open window somewhere. Alright, throw a twisty little passageway. That's a sewer key. Where's this guard I can hear? There he is. City watch guards, I guess, are allowed to see me. Not that I want them to. Over there. Just well, better a false alarm than an emergency. <clears throat> yep. Yo, you're sleeping on duty now, are you? Oh, look at that. There is an open window with a clanking metal pipe below it. I guess it's how I can get in there, but uh, it's very noisily. Trixie's boarding house. Right, so the open window with the ladder and stuff is that way. Hmm. Southeast. I don't know where I'm going. Not a rock circle. Well, we've got street names, but uh, yeah, that's uh, access from one window to another, but it doesn't help me from down here. Down here. Can you get me out of here? I'll make it worth your while. Who are you and why are you down there and why is there an eye looking at me? Oh, it's just uh, Madame Rose's inner guidance. It's good to know. <laughs> Can I get you out of there, you say? Who are you? Mr. Eyepatch. Well, I can pick the lock, so maybe I can get you out of here. <sighs> you better make it worth my while. Take this. I was able to slip it into my boot before they locked me up in there. Your boot or your butt? I found it in the morning anyway. Thanks. You better not rile up too many guards. To get into Madame Rose's, I'm going to need a key. But I can't fit through that window. Hmm. Alright, before continuing that way, let's go... I want to find a way into that window. Or one of those windows, but... Really don't know how is that. That's not wood on this side, is it? Kinda looks like a wood texture, but I bet it's not actually. Yeah, it's not. So let's not do that time. I mean, this is wood, but getting a uh, rope up to the top of this isn't gonna help you get on that pipe, I don't think. It's not quite high enough. Well, I could potentially go from the rope to the fence to the pipe. Well, <clears throat> that's probably worth a try. I know I can get to the pipe with this overhang, but uh, can I get to the fence? Short answer, no. I have to find another way up there. 
Anybody drop any valuables in this alley? She's got uh, some noisy floor in her boarding house here. Yeah. Covered in rubble, too. See me. Uh, you wouldn't see me anyway because it's up it's higher up here. Right, this should open the gate, right? Excellent. What have we got on the roof? Unsuspecting archer! sleep there. Right, now we actually have some height. Well, there's somebody walking around in a noisy floor there. Well, it's uh, roofs to climb on, gargoyles to climb on. No indication of where I'm going. Oh, hello. Wouldn't have even realized there was a house here if you hadn't been making noise. Is that a light switch? It is. Healing potion, that's handy. Any valuable books or secret books? What was that clanging sound of earth? Like a sword hitting a beetle. Don't know. Who's noising about then? Is nobody? You can come and sleep here. It's not your bedroom, but uh, enjoy it. It looks like a comfy bed. Let's rob everybody here. I was gonna say, is this the boarding house? I'm not... Yeah, it must be. It must be the boarding house. No. Wasn't the boarding house across the street? It's a little fancy for a boarding house, too. What do we got here? Willie, you stupid bastard. Was the glass in the ear last month not enough? How many times do I have to tell you? Deliver Merrick's candles to his home on Widow's Walk. That's west of St. Uriel's, idiot. We're mere weeks away from expansion to a bigger building. A larger building means more production, but also more upkeep, which costs money. If we lose St. Uriel's because of your complacence, I'll have you boiled in tallow and you can crawl back down that filthy burrick hole you came from. Nils. Well, uh, west of... Wait, wait, wait. West of St. Uriel's is Marex, so if we head east, we'll find our way to St. Uriel's. Alright, oh, that's... That's useful to know. Without a map, it's useful to have some kind of directions. Oh, sleeping on the job? Make sure you sleep properly on the job. I don't want you waking up and... Yeah, well, not that you would. don't want you waking up and uh, sticking that sword of yours into me. On the other hand, uh, I also don't want you snoring my ears all night. Everybody starts like I was gonna say sleep on your back. Uh, don't sleep on your back, sleep on your front, but you are sleeping on your front already. Yeah, you're still snoring. So whatever. Maybe you should sleep on your back. Everybody leaves their lights on when they sleep here too. Imagine the power bell. There's a clanger again. At least I didn't imagine it. Mm. 
Oh. I. Are we back where we started? What's that I see? Nothing, nothing. Just the wind. There's a cathedral, certainly, up to the south. I thought it was supposed to be east. But uh, unless I'm mistaken, this feels like uh, the same streets we started off in, right? Or similar. Maybe, it's, maybe it just looks similar. There's something under there. Alrighty. When I say the same streets I started off in, I mean not this mission. I mean in the, in the first mission of this campaign. How do we get off there? Stick a river in here, can I? No. Dear, dear, dear. I don't like these big fancy textures that look like wood and then. Nothing. And not wood, but. Oh, this gut there. See, why well, there's people everywhere here. Alright, well, I'll, I will remember that for later. Moment. I came from there, right? I'm gonna get so lost in this little town. Oh, another river, always handy. Check candles. Another rooftop. Probably a noisy one. Definitely one that I get stuck on. Right, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be doing this reloading all the time. But. That's what I was trying to do. Somehow I just fell off. Alright, there's a, someone in there. I wonder. I'm also hearing some carts with footsteps. You can open window here. Gonna jump is awkward. <coughs> Thankfully, mantling makes it possible. Oh, crap, that's noisy. Alright. Yeah. I already did, and you didn't catch me. Eh, it's just the grubbers. Wait, so. These really loud tile footsteps I'm hearing are not in this room. Alright, alright. This loot, however, is in this room, so that's coming my way. What have you got by the bed? The veil is secure, not only behind iron bars, but also with a powerful enchantment. Only a spell of dispersal would render it safe to touch. And I do not fear little magelings whom I could out magic easily. Diana waxes crescent tonight. It is time. The basin is prepared, the components are at hand, everything is ready. I promised her eternal beauty and she'll have it. As part of me. <clears throat> I'm hearing a loud mechanical clanking noise that I haven't heard since... Uh, I don't think I've heard that sound used in any fan mission that I've played. Oh, that's where the guard I'm hearing is. Dude. My head in a bowl, huh? How oh, nice. Let's dispose of that properly. I was going to say properly, but... I do misjudge slightly. Uh, burn it in the fireplace. Out of there. Did I check out this bookshelf? No. Key to inner guidance. Oh. Oh, well, I know it. Right. What was that? What's nothing? 
Right, so this is the guard I was hearing clanking around everywhere. I don't particularly feel like sneaking all around him. At an incredibly slow pace on this incredibly noisy floor. <coughs> so I'm gonna wait till he comes back around here and introduce him to my friend. Or maybe I'm not, maybe he's just gonna stand there. No, he walks, he walks. So you come around here. No, maybe I will sneak around him. He'll give me plenty of notice of his moving. Like so. <coughs> Why don't you come here and meet... You know, here. I meet my friend. Also, don't don't fall in the fireplace. It's unhealthy. Well, not the only man to be. So that was kind of a waste of time. Anyway, where does this take me? I can hear that guard out on the street very easily, so he'll probably also hear my footsteps if I'm a little noisy here. Windows. Hmm. This isn't in a garden, son. This is uh, her quite fancy house and not her shop. What's her name? Mistress Rose or something? A little. Uh, Rooftop garden. Got a guard down there. Tay's not as good as me, but by God, there were servants to take care of things proper. Yeah. Remember those days? Those were the days. And honestly, I would have thought the servants would pay, the nobles would pay better than being on the guard on the streets, but, uh, well, I guess I don't know much about being a guard, only about hitting them on the head. Uh, you sure? I'm sleeping. Because you're about to interrupt my thievery and I can't have that. I don't know who you are, but can't have you messing up my thievery here. I'm going upstairs, I'll come back to that shortly. I have uh, more doors. Why are all these doors locked? I suppose, yes, it makes sense that everything's locked at night, but it does mean I'm doing a lot of staring at doors and wiggling of doorknobs. Sir, those thugs stole precious cargo of the church. I must speak with the warden immediately. <laughs> I don't care if they stole St. Abigail's holy knickers. You're not coming in. You leave me little choice then. I will return with my brothers and a writ bearing the bishop's seal. We'll tear this place apart and then... Huh? You could just wait until tomorrow. The warden's not unkind to your order. If those thugs had church property... Rest assured, it will be returned. Oh, very well. On the morrow, then. Betrayed by thugs. Classic. <laughs> if I do this right, 
I might be able to get the sword and the diamonds back. Things are looking up. Alright. Dennis and Side Thugs probably have the diamonds when they were arrested. Make them yours. And uh, that was Merrick there complaining about the diamonds. I'm wandering back from that way some way. <clears throat> I don't know where, but uh, which where he was heading. But he did have a key on his belt. I see shutters there, but they probably don't open, right? Who knows? Why does this one have a big stone uh, lip around it and that one doesn't? I don't know. Well, <clears throat> nothing obviously out here for me to, to do. There is more shutters upstairs. There's, well, there's some wooden eaves and wooden beams. And some more gargoyles, alright. I guess I can get on the roofs. But if I'm getting on the roof, so I can probably do it better from that ladder. Let's see what's in the basement first. More noisy floors. Well, hopefully no one ever hear me. Flash bomb. Some other tools I don't need. Or care about. Old arrow, I'll take that. My door that doesn't open. <clears throat> right, upstairs then. Oh. The window also opens, okay, but there's a chair in the way, so it's not going to be possible to climb it. So a lot of shutters and some of them open and some don't. I guess those ones open, these ones don't because they have the wooden edge and those ones do because they don't have the wooden edge. You're not hiding anything up here, are you? Always suspicious of these suspended roofs. Also not to mention, if I recall the vision in the swamp of uh, Suspended rafters. There was a picture. Of one of the visions was looking down from rafters such as these, and clearly showing some item on there. Oh, nice pig man picture. Uh, horse man. Why did I think it was a pig? Well, that'll get me on the roof. This will get me on another roof. Uh, that's the one where I was overhearing uh, what's his face. And that's heading south towards the cathedral, I guess. Still doesn't Let's go back north, because. Oh, hello. Yeah, come on, get up there, get up there. <coughs> Does this get me anywhere useful? <clears throat> Don't know that it does. Can I get on the next bit of roof? And there's a handy beam there. Can get higher. <coughs> then I have more options. However, here we are on the rooftops again. Uh, and I have lots of going about still to do. There's a bell tower. There's about a billion and one different places here on the rooftop. I don't know how I'm going to keep track of where I've been and where I haven't. But for the moment, it has been an hour. So I'm going to end this episode here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.